For decades, astronomers relied on classical physics to chart the cosmos. But when the interstellar comet, 3I Atlas, appeared, its behavior broke every rule. Now, a radical new tool is taking over, quantum AI. It ran simulations that tore apart the old models, revealing a truth we never predicted. Atlas wasn't just passing through, it was fragmenting under solar stress. You've probably seen headlines about interstellar comets, but here's what often gets missed. When a quantum AI ran a fresh simulation on 3i Atlas, it didn't just reproduce existing models. It pointed to new scenarios about its motion and makeup. That gap between classical predictions and AI output is where the real interest lies. In the next chapters, we'll explain what AI simulations can add, what the results say about 3i Atlas specifically, and how astronomers test whether these models hold up against telescope observations. Why 3? I Atlas caught astronomers. Off guard, why did 3 I Atlas act so differently from the first two interstellar visitors? That's what puzzled astronomers when they compared it with 1 I slash Oumuamua and 2 I Borisov. Each of those earlier objects had signposted features. Oumuamua was strange but stable, with a shape and brightness that defied easy categorization. Borisov, on the other hand, looked and behaved much like a standard comet from our own system. Atlas broke that pattern with behavior that looked unstable, almost fragile, and it forced astronomers to ask new questions about the range of interstellar bodies passing through our neighborhood. To understand why that was surprising, remember that these interstellar bodies are rarely seen. Only three have been detected reliably so far they do not form inside our solar system. Instead, they drift in after being ejected from other star systems, carrying clues about environments far beyond the reach of our spacecraft. Each one is essentially a sample of material that has traveled across vast interstellar distances before crossing paths with the Sun. In plain terms, 3I Atlas is a comet-like body identified on a hyperbolic orbit. That type of orbit is open-ended, meaning the sun's gravity can bend its path but cannot capture it. Once Atlas passed close to the sun, it began its permanent journey back outward and will never return. Detecting it at all was a matter of timing and sensitivity, since its visit is a brief crossing in astronomical terms. Based on what we know about comets from our local system, Classical models expected Atlas to produce a tail of gas and dust shaped in predictable ways by sunlight and solar wind. Early telescope images did reveal a tail-like structure, but some details were off. The brightness levels looked uneven, the tail evolved quicker than expected, and the object seemed to lose coherence in a way not typical of robust comets. That discrepancy was the first hint that Atlas would not fit into ordinary categories. Traditional tools for predicting motion, known as orbital dynamics, work well for planets and stable comets. They are less reliable when material behaves unpredictably. For fragile objects like Atlas, small forces matter a lot. A minor increase in gas venting or an extra push from solar radiation pressure could shift its track in ways that large-scale models normally ignore. That is why early forecasts failed to line up neatly with each new observation. An analogy helps here. Imagine you are predicting how a dry leaf drifts in the wind. If you know wind speed and direction, you can outline a general path. But if you ignore gusts, turbulence, or differences in the leaf itself, your estimate will be off. With Atlas, the challenge is the same. The leaf is the fragile body, and the solar environment provides the invisible gusts that keep redirecting its motion. Because of these gaps, astronomers decided to test more advanced models capable of accounting for subtle factors. 
classical simulations produced consistent outcomes when assuming Atlas was a single intact mass. Yet telescope data pointed towards something else, patterns more like a body shedding fragments or breaking apart entirely. That tension widened the gap between theory and observation. The result that caught attention was the possibility that Atlas was not simply unstable, but undergoing real breakup. That would explain its shifts in brightness and the way its trajectory kept deviating. Standard models were not built to capture such delicate stresses. This is what opened the stage for trying new forms of computational modeling, including quantum AI techniques. If the fragile breakup was the mystery, then the way AI reshaped the entire modeling framework became the real surprise for researchers. What quantum AI found in the simulation? What happens when, instead of plugging 3i Atlas into classical orbit equations, you let a quantum trained AI test thousands of tiny variations in the forces acting on it? That was the question astronomers began exploring because the traditional methods had left too many gaps between prediction and observation. By shifting the task to a system built to handle enormous decision trees efficiently, researchers hoped to see whether something new would emerge, something able to capture the fragile behavior of Atlas that older tools kept missing. In plain terms, quantum AI in this context is not some conscious intelligence. It is a mathematical approach inspired by principles of quantum computing. Rather than running one path at a time, the model can manage many possible branches of an outcome in parallel. It treats the possible influences on Atlas, like radiation pressure, internal stresses, or uneven gas release, as part of a network of possibilities. This gives the program a wider set of predictions without requiring a supercomputer to crunch them all sequentially. What the AI produced was more than just another orbital plot. It generated scenarios that earlier human-run models had overlooked. The older methods had focused on a stable single-body solution. The AI instead revealed that a delicate object exposed to sunlight could swing between very different behaviors depending on its exact makeup. That variability was a surprise because it showed researchers that their initial expectations for sturdiness in interstellar visitors might not always apply. One especially revealing scenario involved radiation pressure, which is the force from sunlight striking the surface of a low density body. Ordinary comet models treat this effect as subtle, more of a fine adjustment than a major driver. But the AI suggested that if Atlas was particularly porous or lightweight, photons from the sun could act more strongly, nudging its path measurably and explaining several of the trajectory shifts telescopes had picked up during its passage. Another proposed explanation focused inward. The AI modeled cases where the object's structure was weak and riddled with points that could fail. As sunlight warmed it, pressure from trapped volatile gases might cause those weak areas to crack apart. That would account for the bursts in brightness detected from Earth and also for why its shape seemed to break down quickly. In other words, instead of being one coherent object, Atlas may have been in the process of fragmenting under stress. This threw into relief the differences between conventional approaches and what the AI produced. Classical models tend to assume a comet is at least moderately robust. Based on that assumption, they trace a single likely orbit with predictable dust release. The AI broke from that framework. It posted not one solution, but many equally plausible outcomes, each hinging upon small differences in material strength or density that astronomers could not measure directly. A good analogy is to imagine predicting a hike along a mountain trail. A conventional map shows one line, the expected way forward. In contrast, the AI handed astronomers a full network of forks, each route affected by small choices or conditions you encounter. 
which trail gets taken depends on details an overhead view could not register. For Atlas, that meant observing a spread of potential futures, some ending in a coherent path, others in sudden collapse. The most striking cases hinted that what astronomers were tracking was no longer a single intact object at all. The simulations pointed toward fragment cascades, where the comet-like body broke into clusters. The varying brightness we recorded could then be understood as sunlight scattering off multiple pieces instead of one central mass. That perspective reframed the whole question from where is Atlas going to what is Atlas becoming? The immediate value of these AI runs wasn't in declaring one outcome correct. Rather, they redefined the puzzle. Instead of testing a single orbit, astronomers were now weighing different structural hypotheses for Atlas, including rapid disintegration. With those choices on the table, the key step that followed was measuring how closely these possibilities lined up with the telescope data collected during its brief pass. Conclusion The main value of the AI simulation was not about replacing astronomy. It was about opening more ways to test different hypotheses for what 3i Atlas might be. Traditional models narrowed the possibilities, while the AI broadened them, showing how fragile material or radiation pressure could reshape outcomes. Future interstellar visitors will provide the real chance to confirm these ideas. As new comets arrive, comparing telescope data with AI-supported models will show whether these tools capture reality more closely. Each crossing is more than a temporary curiosity. It represents direct evidence about the matter that exists between distant stars.